What's up, everybody? My name is Nick, joined again by my co-host, Matt. Welcome to For Better or Worse. Welcome back. We're back. It's Thursday. We're here once again. Obviously, it's Wednesday night for us, Thursday morning for you guys. Excited to be here. Got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about the trade deadline from the NFL, some winners and losers of that, and some big trades overall. Thursday night football, and then Matt might dive into some NHL tips, at least for you, to help with your NHL betting. So look forward to all that to come right now. Let's get right in the trade later line. Yeah, yep. let's get into it. You got anything to add? Anything I miss? No, that's basically it. Um, Wait, hold on. The, the hard part of doing this overnight is that, you know, I don't know what goalies are there tomorrow. Um, you don't have the lineups out yet for NBA, but there's still a football game on. Unfortunately, it's the Eagles-Texans with a 14-point spread. Um, I will be putting out an article, same game parlay, um, when the lines get there. They usually wait a little bit um, closer to game time in the morning and early afternoon. They'll probably have the line set up. So stay on the lookout for my article, same game parlay, that I will be doing probably more long shot style than usual. Um, and I will have some NHL plays. Just going to you know, wait for some lineups, um, some goalie confirmations, see who's hurt, things like that. I am rocking the hat of the best team in the league right now, though. The New Jersey Devils are nasty, but we'll get into that later. Let's get into this NFL trade deadline. Um, a lot of stuff happened. Did you see anyone make any crazy moves? Do you see anybody who wasn't a contender now kind of slide into that contender status? Or did you think it was just kind of like a fun deadline but no purpose? What are your thoughts? I thought it was fun. There was some, some purpose throughout, uh, some surprising things. Christian McCaffrey to the 49ers. I really, I really like that for them. Um, they did give up, you know, well, what I'm they had sure. a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth, you know, like, you know, it's, it's Christian McCaffrey though. If he stays healthy, he's one of the best running backs in the league period. And um, yeah, it's all a matter of, can you see how, and you saw the last week, he threw a touchdown, caught a touchdown and ran a touchdown in. That's pretty yeah. Awesome. They're like, we're going to use you until the wheels fall off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, until your ankle hurts again or yeah, something. Yeah, until the ankle breaks. Yeah. Um, I thought that was a great trade. I thought the the TJ Hawkinson trade, that oh, was real yeah. interesting. Uh, divisional trade like yeah. that. Um, especially because, okay, so it's TJ Hawkinson and they got a two fourths. Well, one one's conditional, but. <clears throat> yeah. seven and a third like i don't know i don't know it's just the lions gave up and the vikings are win now um yeah. i think their tight end was hurt if i saw him go on the ir unless that was just like a roster move i don't know what that was but he wasn't that good anyway i kind of like it to spice it up um they're gonna make the playoffs this year probably win that division i like the move it's not a crazy move but it's a little bit of a maybe locker room boost you know another option there yeah i like it i like it for both I sides. think I think the craziest mood move was the Bradley Chubb one. Like I yeah. like that trade just makes no it just questions everything about that Miami front office. Just based off like you Bradley Chubb, decent, you know, outside linebacker DN combo kind of situation. He's not Chase Edmonds a fourth <laughs> round and a first round pick. I, I, I like him a lot. I think it's what they needed. They had to overpay. Obviously, they That's, paid a lot, but the they first got is is absurd. It's absurd. Well, they got they got Jeff Wilson from the Niners, which kind of made up for the Edmonds loss. I know they had to overpay, but their spot, like when you're competing against the Bills, who also add Hines, like you got to make a move. And if you got to overpay, it's you know. It's, I feel like they could have got someone equivalent or maybe a little bit below him for cheaper, just way cheaper. I just they it. That's just my opinion, though. You know who cares. Yeah. The I, mean, the day, they I was surprised all. the Broncos traded away like one of their best defensive players. I mean, you see that team; it's a wreck. I'm I'm not surprised at all because they're not they, like out of it yet. Yeah, but the coach is a wreck. Russell's a, a wreck. You know, the whole team's just a wreck. So I don't. I'm not surprised when something weird slash awful slash bad slash however you want to describe it happens to the team because that team's just like 
deserves it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like they, I, they just, I guess the three and five in the AFC is also a lot worse than three and five in the NFC because like the Bengals are four and four, Browns are three and five, the Chargers are four and three, um, and the Jets and the Dolphins are both five and three, and the Pages are four and four. And I didn't even name a division winner. Those are all people in second, third, fourth place in those divisions. So I guess that is basically it. Do you, uh, and I'm going to take a little bit of that back because, like, yes, I'm surprised they traded him away. But at the same time, if you're offered a first-round pick and a fourth-round pick mm-hmm. and a decent running back in Chase Edmonds, I'm I'm probably going to – a first-round – like, I'm probably going to say yes. You can you can find another Bradley Chubb, in my opinion. He's been – he's had a little bit of injury trouble in the past and some other things. But, like, you're – they just traded a bunch of their picks away in order to get – um some of the players they have now, so I don't. I feel like they don't have a lot of draft capital. I could be wrong off on that, um, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, if you're throwing a first round pick in my face, I'm. It's hard to say no. Like they don't, yeah. they don't, they don't get thrown around that often these days. I feel like it's a lot of somewhere in the you know fourth, fifth, sixth rounds, like usual. You know, uh, any. What about you? What, what who do you think are some winners, some losers, some things that surprised you? Just walk me through your your. Um. I like the James Robinson trade for the Jets. Not that, not that I think it matters for them, but I like them being aggressive, uh, especially with the Brees Hall news. Um, I don't like it for my fantasy team. I just missed my mouth with my. I got I got Michael Carter. I was super excited. I'm still excited. I'm still excited to have Michael Carter on my team. But when I saw Brees Hall go down, you know, hopefully he recovers quickly. But the fantasy owner in me was very. <laughs> And as a backup running back, I'm you know I'm not upset either right now. Um, yeah, I did like the Hines move for the Bills just because I didn't like single. I like Singletary, but Hines gives them more flexibility from the pass catching back. It just kind of pads their team, and the rumors are they might get Odell when he's available. Yep. Um, it's just like you know, just destiny at this point. Just a way to pad your team. Didn't really give up too much. It was just a great little like addition. Keeps everyone kind of on their toes in the locker room as well. You know, shows them that, you know, we knew that they were in win-now mode, but this is really like, hey, like it's Super Bowl or bust even more. Um, and I like it that it gives Josh Allen a little more dump-off capability and gives them more creativity on the offensive side of things. So I like the Hines. I like what the Dolphins did with Chubb and getting Jeff Wilson. Um, they have to compete with the Bills, so that's what they kind of had to do there. It is what it is. Um Besides that, I do think the Dolphins got better. I do think the Dolphins are a contender if Tua still plays the way he is just because their offense is so good. If Chubb can kind of spark some things defensively, maybe they're a tough out. Um, and the AFC is pretty tough, but, you know, throw another wild card team in there and uh, it gets even more interesting. I like what the Ravens did. Um, nothing too crazy, but just bolstered them as well. well they got Roquan Smith. I mean, come on. that's that's I like Roquan Smith on the Ravens. I mean – I mean, they need help defensively at any point. I would have taken any upgrade. Um, that's a good but, one. But yeah. um, I like that they're, you know, they're showing that they know their spots that need to be fixed. They didn't just try to get Lamar, like, an extra wide receiver or whatever. They're like, hey, this is working. Winning the division. Let's get them defensive help. And let's go after it. So I like I like the deadline. There were nothing too crazy to me besides the McCaffrey thing. But everyone kind of did what they needed to. One thing that's crazy to me – and let's talk about it. It's Calvin Ridley. Yeah. Uh, like <laughs> Calvin Ridley to the to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, granted, it's a fourth and fifth round pick conditional, but like, I mean, I guess you you know it's like a buy it's a buy low spot. You know, yeah. I, like that's it's a gamble. Years. This is like it is a gamble. <laughs> To gamble he's betting on himself all right that's he is betting on himself <laughs> these are appropriate puns right now okay <laughs> so yeah i mean it's i mean i didn't think he was even eligible to get traded <laughs> I, what is going on dude i get i guess if you're gonna buy him now like cheap here's the time i like, that's yeah. the only reason i can think about it because that one i i was like who like yeah i forgot who he was for a guy who suspended for a year for gambling, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Vegas should have got him realistically for real. <laughs> but I'm, to, is it, I'm gonna slide in those DMs. Yo, what's you know, 
your line's at 40 and a half. How's that locker room looking like this week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, see, uh, I see uh Trevor Lawrence got a short shoulder. How's he throwing? You know? Yeah. Can you punch him in the arm real quick for me? <laughs> Talk to him real quick. See what he's thinking for the day. All right. <laughs> Enough of it. Enough of it. Anything else you want to add for the trade mm-hmm. deadline? I mean, it is surprising stuff overall, but nothing that's like, I don't know. Nothing that's like insane. I, I don't know. I don't know. No, it was it was a good deadline, not a great one. Um, yeah. Not a bad one. It was a good one. I love trades. They're, they're fun. Um, but let's get into something that's not so fun. Thursday night football. <laughs> Eagles minus 14. Currently on FanDuel versus the Texans. Yeah. Man, this is gross. Yeah. Even like preseason, though, like this game was not. I'm convinced they're just giving bad Thursday games because that's the worst time because everyone's on a short week. They're like, you know, whatever. We'll give them the. We won't give those crazy games on Thursday so so the teams won't complain as much. I mean, there's something. There's got to be something. It's just terrible. I. I don't even want to watch this game. Like, I'm so happy that I can bet on it because if I wasn't able to bet on it, I would not be betting. I would not watch it at all. I would not watch it at all. So, yeah. that being said, we do have a fun play. We do have we a fun do play. Have a fun squad ride play because we couldn't figure out what to really do with this game. Um, I mean, it's just like – It's not official unless it hits. Then it's a- Look, guys <laughs> – I was pushing for maybe like a first half eagle spread. Uh, Matt said, hey, let's do something that's probably going to lose. I said, say less. Say less. I want it. <laughs> this is I want not going to lose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not going to lose. Not going to lose. Yeah, that's and what I meant. This is a gamble. This is why it's great. I'm just going to say it. Wait. It's a – oh, my God. Go ahead. First drive punt, <laughs> minus 120. Now – Wait, who's – but what if the Eagles get the ball first? Yeah, that's a gamble. <laughs> that's a gamble. The yeah. coin toss will be electric. Okay. Electric. Here's you the thing. See it though. <laughs> <laughs> the Texans, odds first drive punt, like minus 180, probably minus 200 closer to time. So if we get that, odds Great are in our favor. That's Great value. Value. If the Eagles value. have the ball, we just got to hope it's a short week and they're like, listen, it's a 14 point spread. We're not going to try till. Second half, we'll be a little rusty, not take it seriously, <laughs> and that's it. But uh, you can guarantee that first drive. Whoa, it will be third <laughs> down and short in in range or close to range. They get the first down, and you're gonna get it or they're not. And it's gonna be electric, you're gonna be off your seat, and then you can turn the game off when this catches. That's all I'm gonna say. I see a 80 yard bomb, that's what I see first play. Of the game so but it'll be like electric 80 yard bomb obviously i don't know like this is just I uh, it'll be fun it'll definitely be fun we're gonna we're gonna do this guys guys i know this is a crazy concept but we're gonna bet responsibly because this is a crazy bet okay it's just for fun you know so we have some action on the game as of right now we'll, we'll continue to look at it i believe matt you said you're gonna make a same game parlay when you get a little bit a little bit closer yeah. Um, to the start of the game, so that that'll be article form. Or are you where are you gonna put post that? Yeah, article form coming right up. Nice free article for the people. Um, but yeah, first drive punt. That's it. Let's let's hope for the Texans Nick first drive. Very nervous. If you could not tell, Nick so nervous. I hate I hate this stuff. Granted, I'm the one. Let's let's first of all let's make this known. I'm the one who wanted to do even or odd points because we were going to do something ridiculous. Even or odd points. I'm thinking even at plus 102. So let's just clip this clip so we can go back and I can put it in Matt's face for picking first drive punt instead. All right. That That's is our first drive, punt, first drive, not punt. Whatever you want. It's just not going to be a punt. Clip that, you know, so I can just lie and do what everyone else does and just post fake clips of whatever. (laughs) (laughs) All right. You just saying sounds good. Uh, (laughs) Let's get into some of your, I know you wanted to briefly talk about your NHL tips. Yeah. Tips, tips, tips. Uh, How'd you get into some of those and 
uh we'll have Get a out of here. yeah yeah um so i want to say we just got burned on tage thompson over three and a half shots i was out to dinner for the first two periods yeah it's over they won six to three in my video i like the sabers money line at plus 105 and the over and i said you know what tage is the safest bet turns out i was dead wrong okay he had a couple shots blocked he could have got it but he wasn't that aggressive um, I would say be careful of the three and a halves unless they're big guys who've been doing it for years. Um, because with these young guys who have the past couple games, you know, against these veteran teams like the Penguins and stuff, it's tough to get the shots off as easily, even though it's a good target this year. Um, be careful of the three and a halves. Threes are all fine and dandy. Four is, is tougher from what I've been saying before with just the way the game goes. If you have a big defensive shift and not a lot of power plays, it's tougher to get that shot. Um, so just be careful. What's up? Question in the back. Uh, is it okay to bet the two and a half uh, as well as like a three? Or yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but I had, yeah. Someone, I had someone ask me that. Yeah. So that's... I had someone ask me today, actually. John Collins, is it okay to bet the John Collins over nine and a half? Uh, and the plus 10. It's like, dude, that's the same bet. <laughs> well, you uh, can. The answer is yes. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I would just be cautious. Um, obviously, still on a good run. Uh, only lost, only played one bet, two games slate. Um, still read the game well um, in the video. Sabres and over. So, like, still like what I'm seeing, just pick the wrong play. Um, we have a lot of games tomorrow or today when you're listening. So, stay tuned for those coming out. Um, but yeah, just be careful with those big. Three and a halves um, with the juice. If it's plus money, it's going to be something different. But unless it's someone who's been doing it year in, year out, um, I think I learned my lesson on taking these shots with these younger guys, especially in back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back games. They're almost due for a dud. Um, so just be careful. Um, and not every loss is the ref's fault. Um, this was the wrong play. It's okay for it to happen. Um, I know sometimes it's okay to blame everybody else. We chose the wrong one today. We'll choose the right one hopefully tomorrow. Appreciate the support. And your boy hit 20K followers. You and did? nobody noticed. Not a single. No one. Soul. Not even me. Let's go. Not a single soul. So thank you. Appreciate you guys. Shout out everyone who helped. I remember when I celebrated like follower count and stuff. That's cool, yeah. man. That's yeah, amazing. well, not all of us have a million. So. <laughs> Well, you know mine what? went from like mine went from like ten to like sixty. <laughs> like, you couldn't you didn't have time. By the time you tweeted, you were at the next milestone. Yeah, it, it was dumb. It was kind of <laughs> like, yeah, but it's nice at the same time. Guys, we have a special announcement coming in the next couple of days, um, so stay tuned for that. Trey Young, go fuck yourself. Have a great day. <laughs> that was awesome. See you guys later.